Ounce, Wikipedia article audio. The ounce is a unit of mass used in most British-derived customary systems of measurement. The common avoirdupois ounce is one sixteen of a common avoirdupois pound. This is the United States customary and British imperial ounce. It is primarily used in the United States to measure packaged foods and food portions, postal items, aerial density of fabric and paper, boxing gloves, and so on, but sometimes also elsewhere in the Anglosphere. Etymology Definitions Currently in use International Averdepois Ounce International Troy Ounce Metric Ounces Historical Apothecaries Ounce Maria Teresa Ounce Spanish Ounce Tower Ounce Ounce Force Fluid Ounce Other Uses Fabric Weight Copper layer thickness of a printed circuit board. Notes and references. Besides the common ounce, several other ounces are in current use. Historically, a variety of different ounces measuring mass or volume were used in different jurisdictions by different trades. Ounce derives from Latin uncia, a unit that was one twelfth of the Roman pound. Ounce was borrowed twice, first into Old English as in San or Insan from an unattested vulgar Latin form with TS for C before I and second into Middle English through Anglo-Norman and Middle French. The abbreviation ounce came later from the cognate Italian word onza. Inch comes from the same Latin word, but differs because it was borrowed into Old English and underwent I mutation or umlaut and palatalization. Historically, in different parts of the world, at different points in time, and for different applications, the ounce has referred to broadly similar but different standards of mass. The international avoirdupois ounce is defined as exactly 28.3495231255 grams under the International Yard and Pound Agreement of 1959 signed by the United States and countries of the Commonwealth of Nations. In the avoirdupois system, 16 ounces make up an avoirdupois pound, and the avoirdupois pound is defined as 7,000 grains, one avoirdupois ounce is therefore equal to 437.5 grains. The ounce is still a standard unit in the United States, but in the United Kingdom it is now mainly used informally. However even though it ceased to be a legal unit of measure in Britain in 2000 it is used in restaurants to describe steak or burger portion sizes. A troy ounce is equal to 480 grains. Consequently, the international troy ounce is equal to exactly 31.1034768 grams. There are 12 troy ounces in the now obsolete troy pound. Today, the troy ounce is used only to express the mass of precious metals such as gold, platinum, palladium, rhodium, or silver. Bullion coins are the most common products produced and marketed in troy ounces, but precious metal bars also exist in gram and kilogram sizes. For historical measurement of gold, some countries have redefined their ounces in the metric system. For example, the German apothecary's ounce of 30 grams, is very close to the previously widespread Nuremberg ounce, but the divisions and multiples come out in metric. In 1820, the Dutch redefined their ounce as 100 grams. Dutch amendments to the metric system such as an ounce or 100 grams, has been inherited, adopted, and taught in Indonesia beginning in elementary school. 
It is also listed as standard usage in Indonesia's National Dictionary, the Kamis Bazar Bahasa Indonesia, and the government's official elementary school curriculum. The obsolete apothecaries ounce equivalent to the troy ounce, was formerly used by apothecaries. Maria Teresa ounce was once introduced in Ethiopia and some European countries, which was equal to the weight of one Maria Teresa Thaler, or 28.0668 Guaranis. Both the weight and the value are the definition of one bear, still in use in present-day Ethiopia and formerly in Eritrea. The Spanish pound was 460 grams. The Spanish ounce was 1 16 of a pound, i.e. 28.75 grams. The tower ounce of 450 grains was used in the English mints, the principal one being in the Tower of London. It dates back to the Anglo-Saxon coinage weight standard. It was abolished in favor of the troy ounce by Henry VIII in 1527. An ounce force is one sixteen of a pound force, or 0.2780139 newtons. The ounce in ounce force is equivalent to an avoirdupoise ounce. Ounce force is a measurement of force using avoirdupoise ounces. However, it is not necessary to identify it as such or to differentiate it in that way because there is no equivalent measure of force using troy or any other ounce. A fluid ounce is a unit of volume equal to about 28.4 ml in the imperial system or about 29.6 ml in the US system. The fluid ounce is sometimes referred to simply as an ounce in applications where its use is implicit. Ounces are also used to express the weight, or more accurately the aerial density, of a textile fabric in North America, Asia, or the UK, as in 16 ounces denim. The number refers to the weight in ounces of a given amount of fabric, either a yard of a given width or a square yard. The most common unit of measure for the copper thickness on a printed circuit board is ounces. It is the resulting thickness when one ounce of copper is pressed flat and spread evenly over a one square foot area. This roughly equals 34.7 m. The troy ounce of about 31.1 grams is now only commonly used for the mass of precious metals such as gold silver, platinum, palladium, rhodium, etc., the ounce force is a measure of weight, that is, force, the fluid ounce is a measure of volume. A fine ounce is a troy ounce of pure gold content in a gold bar, computed as fineness multiplied by gross weight, a standard ounce is a troy ounce of 22 karat gold, 91.66% pure.